Okay. I got all the swivel knife cuts primarily done. Now, there are a few things how I do swivel knife that I want to make very clear. I've been asked a few times. Probably don't do it traditional way. Okay. But, like, when I, I always start at the point. Okay. And I lightly graze it in. And then I come back and define it again. But when I come into another line that intersects the previous cut, I'll take the cut to just about the previous cut. Then I'll stop and I'll turn the knife around and come from the line that I've cut and take it back to that cut. That way I don't get that little pinch pinch mark. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like like when you pull your line then you go to pull another line to it and you get that little pinch mark. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm a perfectionist. So I overwork it. Whether y'all do it too, awesome. If not, just taught you something. This, I will not stamp, I will not tool. That is a detail line. I put it in there so I wouldn't lose it because working the leather, tooling it, and having it taped on the back like I do has a tendency to keep it from going out, but also has a tendency to bulk and push up the leather that will make your detail transfer lines kind of go away a little bit. So when I tool this area in here, I will really be making a conscious effort to watch these lines so they don't get pushed up and they lose definition. I don't know if it's because of how I'm doing it. Don't care. I can work with it. It's good. It's cool. But, like I said, like this line here, you can barely see a little bit of that leather. I will go back and come from that line and bring it this way to get that fully creased. Another thing is you see these lines here from the transfer. I'm not worried about those because those can be buffed out and pushed around with this little deal. Okay, this is one of the best tools I ever bought. It allows me to go in and add some extra detail and little cushion spots and soft bevels and all kinds of other stuff. It's awesome. But I mainly made sure that I got all my main lines. I faded this cut out because the rest of this will be done faded up so it looks gradual okay the other thing that I really try to look for when I'm doing my cutting is on the back I don't know how well the video picks it up but you can faintly see like the lines of the skull socket that see there's a couple you can barely see see them see the difference in them you can see your cut lines just like your tooling lines that is how I know that I have got the proper depth that I want in these lines to show my depth and foreground middle ground background okay just like when you tool these lines when you flip it over you will see a reverse image of exactly what you tooled which is exactly what you want I always look for those marks on the back after my cut lines and like the teeth when I put the cut lines in when I flip it over I do not want to see those because I don't want those cuts as deep as the defining lines if that makes any sense just like in tattooing from going from a three liner to a nine round liner okay I want that definition with that nine round which is what my preliminary cut lines are these 
and the tattoo would be done with a three round liner. So, it's about pressure with the swivel knife. My knife probably isn't as sharp as it should be, but it was a few days ago. Now I'm pretty lazy with my tools, I know I shouldn't be, blah blah. So it is. Next thing that I will do, this is completely dry now, there's like barely anything. It is warm to the touch, it's not cool, so therefore the moisture in it is pretty much evaporated and gone. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for a good 10 minutes to make sure it's completely dry and all that good leather fun. And then I will come back with a sponge and dampen and case the whole thing but the teeth. Because when you case that and they're not cut, that leather will swell and you will lose your lines. So I will not tool those or case that spot until I get ready to. The rest of this like these are like fade cuts and I barely scratched the surface because I just want to put the indication so I can come in with my other beveler this is my beveler of choice I love this thing it's got a very steep wide broad angle instead of your basic tandy stuff I don't like tandy for the outside I use this beveler it's nice and wide it's got a curvature on it to where I can just go da -da 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 right along nice clean looks awesome great then I'll use a pear shader and the modeling spoon for some of the detail in the skin okay